Hey there, it's Shamika Tangerson, The Money Messenger, and I'm here this week to share with you another cash flow and money tip. So we've been talking about the attributes of money, and I want to share another attribute with you today, and that is money loves attention. Now, I know you're thinking, how can money love attention? Well, think about this. It's just like in relationships. When you're in a relationship with someone, the more attention you pay to them, the more time you spend with them, the more focus you give them, the more they want to be around you, the more they want to come and spend time with you. And so money is the same way. Here's what I want you to think about. You get what you focus on, right? So the tip that we're going to talk about today is tracking your cash flow or tracking the revenue that comes into your business and doing that on a daily basis. That's one of the ways that you can start to pay more attention to your money. Now, I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, I hate spreadsheets. I don't want to think about numbers. It's way too complicated. I'd rather not deal with it. And I used to be that way too, but I've created some simple, low-tech, no-brainer systems and ways of tracking and paying attention to your money. So here's something to consider. Have you ever bought a car before? Or test-driven a car? And all of a sudden, you're driving the same road back and forth to work every single day, and you never noticed that car before, but all of a sudden, you see... Hundreds, everywhere you look, there's that vehicle. There it is, there it is, there it is. It just keeps popping up because you get what you focus on. So we want to focus and pay more attention on our money to have more of it show up and flow into our lives. So here's what you're going to do. Remember, I said this is low tech. It's totally low tech. You want to grab a sheet of paper, sheet of paper, number 1 through 31 on the side. That 1 through 31 is going to represent the number of days in the month. Then you're going to begin to track the revenue that comes in or the money that comes into you daily. Now, here's how this works, guys. If you find $20 on the ground, guess what? That gets written in. If your grandmother sends you a card with a check in it, that gets written in. You want to track all the money that's coming to you, no matter where the source is from. If you're a business owner that uses PayPal or has some sort of merchant account or shopping card, you want to go in there and look at your daily totals at the end of the day, and you want to add that in to your daily total for the revenue sheet. The other thing you want to put on the revenue sheet is you want to have some kind of affirmation or inspirational quote that you put there. For example, you can put something like, I'm a money attraction genius and my clients will pay me, are willing to pay me for the transformation that I provide. How about that? That would be awesome if you could write that down. So you want to have something that you can focus on as you're doing this. Then you want to have a 30 or 60 day goals. Now I like 60 day money goals. Those are best for me um, because it gives you time for fluctuation and things. So let's say by April 15th, you want to make $8,500. You want to write that on there so you know what you're focusing on, you know what you're trying to bring into your business, and then you just want to track that income as it comes in on a regular basis. Now here, remember we talked about resistance. So this is where <clears throat> this is where your resistance kicks in, okay? With your resistance, you're thinking, you know what, Shamika, I don't make money every single day. My sheet's going to be totally empty. And you know what I have to say to that? You will be surprised. This process is like magical. When you start focusing on it, when you start tracking that income on a daily basis, by five months or by the fifth month in, you are going to be amazed at the amount of money that you have more money coming into your business. Why? Because like we talked about earlier, you get what you focus on. So I'm excited to see you do this. Now, here's the deal. I'm not saying that you can sit at your house all day and wish for more money because that's not going to happen. I can sit in my garage all day long and say, I wish I was a car. I wish I was a car. I'm a car. I'm a car. I'm a car. And at the end of the day, I'd still be a human being. So that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is when you focus and you track your money on this sheet, you're going to get more creative and you're going to find more ways to create money from here, from there, from everywhere. Money will just start flowing in because you get what you focus on. So it's just like when you were in grade school or in elementary school, you got the stars on the sheet and you wanted to fill that up. There's a part of you 
that wants to fill up that sheet. You want to fill in all 30, all 31 days. You want to fill that sheet up just like from then. You wanted to get that prize, whatever you got, a lunch with the principal. You got to pull out of the prize box if you got all the stars across the way. There's a part inside of you, that kid inside of you is still there and it wants to fill the sheet up. So it's going to push for that. You're going to see how money starts to flow in. So I'm excited to see how this turns out for you. Get that sheet of paper, number it down the side, 1 through 31, and make room for more money to flow into your life. If you're excited about this money tip and you want to hear more, just go to makingroomformoney.com.